In this presentation, we will implement the full adder by using only the NAND gate. You already know that the sum in case of full adder is given as A XOR B XOR C I where C I is the input carry and the output carry C O is given as A and B or C I A XOR B. This is something we have discussed already in the full adder explanation. Now you might be knowing that the XOR operation or your XOR gate is implemented by using the 4 NAND gate. This is we discussed in the half adder implementation of the NAND gate and also while we were discussing the universal gates. So let's move to the sum first then we will see what is the carry output. Here we are having the three inputs to the sum to our XOR gate A, B and C, I. So you may have a three input XOR gate or uh, you may have a two input two XOR gates. So we are implementing it with the NAND gate. So first I will make first XOR gate in which the inputs are A, B. Then I will make the next XOR gate in which the one of the input is CI and one of the input is what? The output of your first XOR gate. It's very simple. What I'm actually telling you is that we require, we require one XOR gate and in which the inputs are A, B then whatever its output we will give it to the another XOR gate and this is your CI so the output will be what your sum which is equal to A XOR B XOR CI very simple so we will try to make this XOR gate by using the NAND gate so let's do it we require four NAND gate for the XOR implementation so let's make it this is our first NAND gate this is our second NAND gate this is our third NAND gate this is our fourth NAND gate now watch it clearly that how we implement it this is our first input let's say A this is our second input B and the A will go to this gate also and B will act as one of the input to this gate. Now the output of this gate will go to the input to this one and also as one of the input to this one. Then the output of both these gates, this one and this one will act as the inputs to this last NAND gate. So at this point what we are having at this point we are having A XOR B if you want the proof of uh, this thing then uh, I have did it in the half adder implementation and uh, also in the universal gate so move to that lecture you will find the answer of your questions so this is we got our A XOR B now we want the XOR operation with CI so it's very simple we are going to make this arrangement again so let me copy it down let's copy this part copy and then paste and let's put it here okay fine and uh, this input this input is our CI in this case the output here will give you a XOR B XOR CI and this is what this is our sum now we have implemented the sum this is time to implement the carry output so carry output requires A and B and it requires CI and A XOR B so it's very simple and a little bit tricky so let's see how to do that at this point we are having A and B and then it's whole complement fine and at this point we are having what A XOR B and CI and then the complement of whole very fine now we want the OR operation between A and B and CI A XOR B so what we do I will take this point and this point 
and then simply pass it to another NAND gate okay this point and this point will go to the NAND gate and let's see what is the change in the output so the output will be what A and B then it's complement okay and then again it is ended with what A XOR B okay and C I fine now there, there is a whole complement of this thing so by using the De Morgan's law I'm having A and B this AND will convert to what the OR and then C I A XOR B this there is a whole complement here actually and this whole complement to this thing is gone because of the De Morgan's law and this is similar to our C output so this is how we implement the full adder by using the NAND gates only so in the next presentation we will implement the full subtractor by using the NAND gate so see you in the next one